not exactly a picturesque background. This is my laundry room and I came down to the plant room to check on things and it's a good thing I did. Um, I found out that I have a pretty bad mealybug infestation and this is the first one that I have ever had. Um, as far as I know, I've never seen anything on my plants before. So let me show you what it looks like and what I'm going to try to do about it. Um, this one I actually saw a couple weeks ago. I thought it might have some sand on top somehow. And I thought maybe I had knocked something over and dirt got on it. But as you can see, it's a complete infestation of mealybugs here. And they're kind of white and fluffy and they're very small. I actually broke my glasses so I can't even see, you know, that they're actually bugs, which is a, a good thing because I don't like to kill anything, so it's best that I don't see any of the carnage that's about to happen. But I know that if I don't treat this mealy bug that it's going to kill these plants, and I don't want to lose. I have, um, I have about seven plants here that have it. Hopefully these are the only ones. I'm going to keep a close eye on the other ones. But what I have here, and I'm hoping it's going to work, I may have to go out and get some uh, natural insecticide if I can find some. But what I have in here is mostly alcohol, a very high solution of alcohol mixed with water. And I'm going to spray it on and try to brush off the mealybugs Oops. with this brush. So we'll see how that goes. Um, spraying will get into all the nooks and crannies um, and I'm hoping that's going to do the job. Um, I really don't want to lose any of these plants. So it's very hard to get into some of these spines as you can see. But what I'm trying to do is totally soak it and now these plants have gotten totally dry for the winter. So at the same time I hope by getting them wet like this I'm not messing with their dormancy. But I am actually having a very hard time getting things out of this one. I might just spray it in there and see how that works. Um, this And also spray the top of the soil a little bit because you want to make sure that if they laid any eggs that that will take care of that as well. And I know this isn't exactly a scientific video here, but this one I can kind of brush a little bit better. I can actually get my brush in there. This guy... Oh, I don't even think you could see what I was doing, but this is the guy I was working on. It just has about an inch long spine there, so it's very hard to get into those crevices. I'm going to see if I have any tweezers on hand. Um, I'm just going to spray them all with the alcohol solution. And hopefully that is going to take care of this problem. This one is the worst. So of course I'm going to have to keep these quarantined um, away from any of the other plants. And I'll watch for signs on them as well. But I'm hoping too much damage has not been done before I caught this. Um, if I had known what it started to look like, if I had known what it looks like in the beginning of the infestation, I might have had a better handle on this. But it's really important to get into all the, the nooks and crannies, especially something like this. Uh, it's got a very, very, lots of little crevices here. So you do want to make sure that that goes in there. And I hope that I'm not using, I hope that the alcohol is okay for the plants. I will rinse them off in a, in a little while. I just want to make sure that I'm able to get these, these bugs taken care of. It's only a little bit on this side. But, you know, in just a week, it really got out of control. So, this is another one which, where it's going to be very difficult for me to get in here with these spines. 
Oh, it's quite a bit on the back here. I wouldn't have seen it. And, you know, I'm going to show you what they may have done here. I'm not sure if this is from them, but if you can see on the corner of the spines, let me see if I can get close. Oh, it's this one here. Something has been eating near the spines on that one. I hope you can see that right here. So I wonder if that is mealybug damage. Of course, cacti are very tough, so let's hope that they get over this. But I'm going to try to wipe all of them out. And because these are sharing a pot, I'm going to go even my big one here had it. So I'm going to really try to get in there. See what I can do in the cracks and crevices. And like I said, my glasses broke. I'm wearing some old ones. And I can barely see until I get my new pair. I really should have more than one. But it's probably best that I'm not seeing anything happening here other than the plants getting squirted. Because I do not like to kill anything. I always try to have a method that's kind, but this just this situation is not going to work. They can wipe out a whole collection. And I think that's gonna do it. I may try to pick off some anything that I see here, and I will rinse them off very well afterwards. So guys, thanks for tuning in. This was um, not a very good situation here. So I'm going to blast these with water and see if I can rinse it off. And I'm going to keep these guys separate. This was the worst one and I hope I hope it makes it. We'll have to see. But there we go. Hopefully I have gotten into all the nooks and crannies. I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit and then I'm going to blast them with water and hopefully this is not going to mess up their dormancy too much. So they may perk back up and then have to go back into a dormancy but luckily cacti are pretty resilient. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Sorry to bring bad news. Bye.